park. Morning from the park. We are up early. It is currently 7 a.m. And this is a, a kind of little mini vlog in between because we're going to do Salem as a separate vlog. We're walking to North Station now, aren't we? Yeah, because Salem deserves a vlog in its own right. It does, hocus pocus. Um, so we're going to get the train this morning from North Station, which is about a 35 minute walk from our hotel. It's about a 30 minute train journey to Salem. And we're at the Lennox, in case you're just tuning in. Yes, and um, it's $16 return. So we're going to give you the details when we get there of how easy this is, or how difficult, hopefully easy. Um, yeah, we're going to head to Salem and see some of the sights. So let's go. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning today. Lots of runners. Yeah, the sun is out. It's going to be 85 today, I think. So that's why we're getting out early. We are joined by Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Thirsty. Very thirsty. We're just approaching the station and we just spotted this huge building, State Street. Wow. <laughs> that is cool. It's so high. We just arrived at the North Station. We want the red line, but we're only seeing the green and orange line at the moment. So Luke's gone to investigate how we get to the oh, red a really friendly uh, station coordinator, attendant. attendant, and it's the commuter line. Yes, yeah, so it's the purple commuter line. <laughs> and it's going to be about a five minute walk from here. So we're starting to pick up the signs now for commuter rail. Yeah, so we're going to go up these stairs here. We're still going the right way, we're still seeing the commuter rail. Here we go, we're going to find it. We made it. We made it, so, so we can see the board. 7.50 to Robinson. Train 103. 103, no track yet. Birds are going crazy. We just bought our tickets, it was $32 round trip. Yeah, there's a really helpful little stand to customer assistance where you can just get your tickets. Um, and the next train is at uh, 7.50. 7.50, yep, so in about nine minutes. Uh, really? We did ask about masks on the train and they said no, no masks required. We got them just in case. But yeah, we've got them in the bag, yeah. This is exciting. I never met this, but I don't think we've been on a train in America. No. It's a new one. The temptation is real right now. We've got Duncan. Just there. We're going to get one when we get there. Yeah, and Snapple. <laughs> so we've got the uh, app, the MBTA website, so you can view the arrivals. So we're on the 750 that gets to Salem at 8.16. We're delayed. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully not long. No. Here we go. We're about five, ten minutes delayed, but we've got a track, track number one. Salem. That was a really nice trip, empty train and lovely place. The train was really easy, like 25 minutes I would say. Yeah, and we said for like um, commuting time it was really quiet. Yeah, really, really good. So um, yeah, we're going to go into the town now. And that continues into Salem. So this is the Tabernacle Congregational Church, UCC. I'm very intrigued by this money dew donuts. That looks really good. But I'm sure we're gonna come across lots of interesting food places. First things first, I've just gone on the Dunkin' app and ordered us a coffee. So we're gonna head down to Dunkin' and grab a nice coffee. Looks like they're setting up for the Salem Celebrates 4th of July as well. That would be cool to be here on that. All the news, you've got the Salem evening news. Yeah. And we've just noticed across the road is Dunkin', but it's not just any Dunkin'. It's Golden Dunkin'. It's Duncan. Golden Dunkin'. We're definitely going to have to um, get a coffee from somewhere independent. The Golden yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. Also, Luke pointed out earlier, there's a mango pineapple Dunkin' refresher that sounds so good. It's with the coffee. <laughs> He's happy. You're good? What have you got? So I've gone for an oat 
iced caramel latte. And I've got a skinny latte. And we're going to find somewhere local as well to get something to drink. Yeah, on the way back. But yeah. we're going to head now to, I think, over there, we're going to have a quick look at the post office in a minute because it looks amazing. But we missed the Bewitch statue on the way down. So we're going to just head down Bewitch and see that. a hair in his coffee. <laughs> so he's gone to change it. <laughs> Take two. Take two. <laughs> uh, this one okay? Yeah. So they apologise. I know it's um, Salem and it's meant to be scary, but... Our <laughs> first stop is the Bewitch statue. Excuse the construction in the background. <laughs> Samantha, so Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha Stevens. Hair of gold, eyes that twinkle, a nose that neatly twitched. Clever, charming, enchanted Samantha that was all bewitched. That's very cool. So that's just down from the station about five minutes. We actually missed it on the way. But glad we went back. We're just checking out all the interesting independent shops. The Curly Girl Candy Shop. We're going to look at that. Um, jelly Bear. <laughs> Gummy bear. Oh, I so want to go in there. Merchant Hotel. How nice is this? That's really cute and definitely picturesque. Door Next door to Duncan, Luke says. <laughs> so we've got all these flags here, and over here, it's an interesting look. It's like, yeah, not a, a necessarily a set landmark. It look amazing. It's an improvement on the sort of post offices we get at home. It's given me major, like, uh, Back to the Future vibes. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. There should be, like, a, a clock up there. I just noticed across the road, which is quite central, is a Hampton Inn. So if you were looking to stay in Salem, uh, there could be some um, affordable options. Even noticing the floor is green. This is a cool crossing. Yeah, which is green. <laughs> or green. I think it's green. Maybe I'm colorblind. So we are, as you know, Disney fans and Hocus Pocus, a lot of the Hocus Pocus filming locations were here. And the first one is the Pioneer Village, which is down about a 25 minute walk. Um, and unfortunately that is only open currently on weekends between 12 and 4. So we're not going to get to see it this time because we're not here for a weekend. But we just have to come back. But we're going to see how close we can get to it. Um, but that was where the original like start of the movie was filmed with Thackeray Binks' house. Um, and then on Ocean Avenue, Ocean Drive rather, is the house that Max and Danny lived in, the White House. We're going to go and see that because it looks like a beautiful house. And that was on my, the top of my list to see. Yeah, because it's also in a really nice area. So I say it's about 20, I think it's 22 minutes walk from where we were at Duncan and the, the witch statue. So we're going to head down there now and show you guys. Look at this crossing. I've said it before, but I mean, Boston is just so inclusive. Even in Salem here, you've got so many pride flags, so much diversity, and yeah, just in Massachusetts. Too. Yeah, we had to stop and take note of Willow Avenue. If you don't know, our cat is called Willow, so <laughs> it's very special to us. So we're on the corner of Ocean Avenue. Yeah, it's in Ocean Drive, but it's Ocean Avenue. <laughs> and we've got a little uh, postman there. We'll be that close to it in a minute. It's so beautiful and it's literally right by the ocean. Yeah, it's so surreal being here, seeing it up close. I'm conscious it's someone's house. Yeah. Been here in too long, but it's not. I mean, the house is beautiful, but I mean, look at this view that they have. It's just to live here and have this view, it's just incredible. You'd be loving life, wouldn't you? It's decided. You can hear the birds. 
so peaceful. We're going to take a short um, five minute walk to Pioneer Village. I know it's closed, we might be able to see little bits. We've seen other people walking down. Um, so we're look. thinking maybe they know something we don't. We've got to turn around and show you our view right now. Yeah, look at this. Houses are just so beautiful. We're going to whisper because it is very peaceful here. It must be so good in um, Halloween. You know, I bet it's really, really like in season with all the colours changing. We're coming back now. So here on the left, we've got the Salem Pioneer Village. And I think in those trees in there are the old houses um, that we used for the filming location at the start of the movie. But um, there's, I mean, there's cars and activity and there's people walking down. So we're going to see just in case. So we're just heading down to Pickering Point. Lovely little base, uh, baseball ground. Here. Baseball ground. And just beyond that is... What's just beyond that, Luke? The Pioneer Village. So there's Pickering Point, which is over to the right. And then the Pioneer Village is in there, and you can you can actually see the huts in there. So we're hoping we are seeing people walk over there. So we're hoping we can get semi close to it. Yeah, we're just seeing people walking in. So whether it's like the um, museum's not open, but you can still walk through. Kind of see there's currently a kids camp here behind. So that's why we're obviously not allowed in during the weekdays. But you can see the Pioneer Village, Salem, 1660 there. You can see the hut, and you can also see the other hut, and obviously uh, Zachary Binks's house. You can hear the camp, that's so American. So I just want to let you know that just by the side of the baseball court, there is a free car park. So if you do come down with your car, there is definitely a place to park. Um, and there looks to be loads so of So close, but we don't want to go in there. It's a kid's camp. It's clearly closed, so we've got close enough. There was a lot of other people around, like, just getting as close <laughs> as we were. Um, we were chatting to a nice American couple. They had I'm the same fat problem. Yeah, I'm satisfied that we've got close enough. Yeah. And um, we're just going to have a quick look at Pickering Point, which looks out over the sea. YouTube. 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 <laughs> um, parking is free here, which is a really good thing if you've got your car. So um, let's head over and get some footage. I'm actually wondering why we randomly said YouTube. There was somebody going past on the bike that was going, YouTube, oh, YouTube. Look at this gap. Do we have a gap? Look at that. Through the gap. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing our best. Let's, let's zoom in. Right oh, there, yeah. so close yet so far. This is Pickering Point. The view is stunning. It's so nice around here. Apart from the uh, lawnmower going, oh yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> We're just checking out the um, shop frontages and how in keeping they are. So we've got um, an opticians, hardware store, a retail store. We're on Pizza Watch now. The Engine House, Pizza and Subs. Uh, if we were staying longer, I think we could head there. So we're kind of in the downtown district now, aren't we? And there's plenty of like meter parking, local shops and restaurants. There's also Wendy's <laughs> for the more commercial. So we're on the downtown district at the moment. So we've got the waterfront, the Salem Maritime, the House of Seven Gables, which is what we're heading towards now. We're going to go to the Witch Charles Memorial first. And the Witch Charles Memorial. We have just spotted the Salem Witch Village, which is just across the way from the Salem Wax Museum. Established 1692. Stopping at the Charter Street Cemetery. It's very peaceful here. There is a lovely breeze. And this is where the Salem Witch Trials Memorial is. This whole area is the Salem Witch Trials Memorial. I'm just loving all the different types of buildings. Carter Street Cemetery Welcome Centre. Probably open at 10, let's have a look. So you can see here Mar Margaret Scott hanged September 17th or 12th, 22. Oh, September 22, 1692. Here's the memorial. It's very hard to read because it's got... Um, it's quite faded. I am wholly innocent of such wickedness, it says. And then we just walked around this square which is the memorial. Bubble tea. So if you're like me and obsessed with bubble tea, they also have uh, sweet boba down here. And just along the downtown district, we've got the Pirate Museum. So loving these uh, drawings, paintings on the wall. And here's the entrance here. Getting Captain Jack Sparrow vibes. We've just seen this boat over here. We, we didn't pan the route, but... That's what I like, that we're just walking along and finding random things. It's too good to just look at. Yeah, and the ambience of the uh, church bells. I have to say, Very spooky. The weather today is... I actually just found rescue. 
Perfect. <laughs> We've got a nice little sea level oyster bar here, which is just overlooking like a marina type area with some really nice boats. And Luke's just heading over to look at that ship, which looks really good. You see the lady at the front it Looks there. like Belle from uh, Beauty and the Beast. It does actually, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Belle vibes. Oh, it's so nice. I could just sit here now, there's a nice breeze. Yeah. You can see the custom house over there with the gold. So we're just taking a minute to have um, some rest and step count is 13 and a half thousand steps so far, which is not bad. And it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Amazing. Um, so we were just saying that we're definitely going to come back. We're probably going to need at least two days here because there's just so much to see. There's so many little quaint shops and um, restaurants and bars and food places and so many sites that we just haven't got to. Um, some of them because they're not open um, to the public today. So even more reasons to come back, but it is just amazing and the weather is incredible. So we're definitely gonna come back um, and do a couple of nights. And as you've seen today, we, we can bring the car because there's plenty of uh, public parking and um, meter parking as well. We just stopped at the uh, custom house and Luke spotted the gold. Yeah, it says 1819 Gold Eagle at the top. So we're guessing that this is where the ships came in and sorted their customs paperwork out. Just maybe? heading now down to the House of Seven Gables, which is a 1668 colonial mansion named for its gables. So let's have a quick... We're just catching the Salem trolley going past as well. If you're not brave enough like us to walk it everywhere. <laughs> Look at this witch coming up. Oh. Witch. <laughs> she doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Which way gifts? So we've got all the witch merch here. All the dream catchers. There it goes. Oh, trust me to spot the candy shops. So we've got the America's oldest candy company, home of the famous Gibraltars and blackjacks. Right, so we're gonna head in and uh, I think it's a paid event but we'll see how much it is. Heading into the House of the Seven Gables. Um, we're gonna go for the grounds pass of $10 and masks are required. So we've gone for the uh, grounds pass, which is $10 each. Um, you can do a audio tour, um, which will get into more areas for a little bit extra. But there's also QR codes that you can scan um, as you go around for some audio, that, which is included in our pass. So the staff are really friendly and really informative when we checked in. So nice, you can, wear, you can take your mask off outside, just inside you have to wear it. Yep. Um, we've got a little map, mm -hmm. but this garden has just come out and yeah. it's, it's stunning. And the view behind as well, seeing out to the to the water. Absolutely incredible. So as soon as you come through like the front reception, uh, the way you pay to get in, you've got the sign for Hawthorne's birthplace, uh, the counting house, Kids Cove, and the museum. We've also got the site of the original tea room, and we love our tea rooms. Um, that's probably the British side of us coming out, but um, got to love a tea room, 1910. And just to the side of that is the Turner Ingersoll Mansion, 1668. I've got to film this because just walking along these beautiful gardens, and there's a stunning view with the statue. A duck landing on a duck. <laughs> that is stunning. Uh, we've definitely got the weather today. I know we keep talking about it, but we're just really appreciating the weather today. You get really good views of the buildings from here. So I think Let's turn around. It's the House of the Seven Gables. Ah, which okay. Is, if we look at the map, that is the House of the Seven Gables there, A. And that is E over there, which is the Hooper Hathaway House. And then there's a red building behind which we can't see at the moment we'll go to, but the one there, C, is the Retire Beckett House in the museum shop. Love a shop. Yep, and these chairs. Look at these chairs. Well, I was talking about those chairs, but we are just taking a minute just to sit and just take it all in. Yeah, we didn't pay to go in the house. Um, it was $20 each, which I don't know, I don't, I don't have that much interest to go in there. <laughs> I just wanted to really see it and see the garden, so $10 each is not too bad. Yeah. So. One for next time maybe. Let's go and have a little wonder. Stepping stones here. 
so I'm just assuming that we can step on them. <laughs> but, but they do end. Oh, I'm all, all, also thinking about the scene from Princess Diaries where they say, get off the grass. <laughs> So we've got the Nathaniel Hawthorne birthplace there, which is the red building Luke was talking about earlier. So we've got a lovely seating area down here by the water, which is, as you can see, completely empty. So we've definitely come at the right time. And it it's just goes all around. It? It's so literally just opened. Imagine having your lunch there. Oh, brilliant. And also the blue boat down there. Let's have a look at the boat. <laughs> It's <laughs> sailing away, sailing, sailing away, Disney Cruise Line. <laughs> I also love that my phone just popped up to advertise the Hocus Pocus 2 trailer. If you've not seen it, check it out. I'm so excited for this movie. Oh, little cats. Got to stop lambs. by. Are they lambs, lambs or cats? Are they lambs? Okay. <laughs> and this is just by the, the Retire Beckett House. And you know, with every tour, it ends with the store. <laughs> we've got to check out the museum. The store is actually in the Retire Beckett house um, and we're going to go in and we've got our masks on. So we've got some Salem merchandise here. We've got some, I'm whispering because it is really quiet here. <laughs> um, some jumpers, some witches stuff, lots of books. And we like to get like a magnet or a key ring or something. Oh, and the number. This is cool. We've got a few number plates. We, we did. This one. We did start to collect them at some yeah, point, didn't we? This. We're going to get that. Um, we love a gift shop. I think we'll find a Salem pin down in Salem. That's it. That's what we normally get a pin. And we've got all the china and the crockery. Mugs. You know we love a mug. Some notebooks, some journals, some tea towels, hocus pocus. These are called these um, cobblestones. Some candy cranberries, uh, peach uh, beach pebbles, and we've got um, a Salem artist here, Sheila Billings. These little miniature paintings. Really cute. Now we're heading over to uh, the main district again, which is about a ten-minute walk to the Salem Witch Museum area. Um, we just morning glory bed and breakfast yeah. so we've got the Salem sign here with a nice map of the area and then behind which we spotted on the way down is a statue so we're gonna check out what statue this actually is so there's a statue we're not really sure of the history behind this but it was erected by the followers of very re uh, very reverend Theobald Matthew Apostle of Temperance just by the statue is this stunning church really is only all churches could look that amazing. So we've got the Salem Witch Museum just over there and we've got the Salem Common Fence. Nice little lone bandstand area there on the Common. Common. We're now going to walk over towards the Witch Museum. They are doing some sort of cleaning. It's like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're sucking the ghosts into the ground but they're doing some sort of water main cleaning. It might be a bit noisy. Yeah. Let's go. So a bit close, you can see the Salem Witch Museum, and we're just gonna cut out that <laughs> so we can just see the museum. Right here, we've got the first settler of Salem in 1626, Roger Conant, loving this house. Very patriotic. Also, quite central is a multi-story car park. Yeah, that one's full already. Yeah, so popular but more parking options if in case you're driving down. So we've got a nice water feature here. And the Witch City Mall, I don't think it opens yet, we can go and have a look. So yeah, this is the uh, Witch City Mall, which is just across the way from the East India Marine Hall. And it is 10.53 and it is open by the looks of it. We're just heading through the mall and although the doors are open, not a lot of the shops are. So we're thinking it's coming up to 11 o'clock. Some of the shops say 11. Yeah, so if you're coming down in the morning, just be prepared that some of the shops may not be open. We're just going to nip into the trolley depot store. Oh, with little cats. And you can't escape the Disney. Disney is everywhere. <laughs> We're just checking out these postcards for 50 cents. 
Halloween ones, yeah. Souvenirs. I absolutely love this. Happy yeah. Halloween. We both spotted that and thought, yes, that's coming home. I've got a couple of other things we'll show you later. So we went into Honeydew Donuts and got a honey dip ring donut. Strawberry iced tea here, which is amazing. What did you get? Honeydew Donuts. And you've got a honey... Honey dipped ring donut. Nice. Also, I noticed they do strawberry iced tea here. It, it, it was only $1.55 for that donut, which is pretty 55. cheap. That is good. Yeah. So, Let's really good morning in Salem, didn't we? Really good. Yeah, I wish we could spend longer here. Yeah, we said we definitely would stay here. Um, there's still, still a lot to see, the Witch Museum we'd like to do another time. Um, so, yeah, 100% recommend the trip. 17,000 steps so far. Gotcha. <laughs> so now we're heading back to back on the train. We're going to head back to Boston and continue from there. We're heading for the 1124 train back to Boston. They're roughly every half an hour. But we're going to say today they're every half an hour because I'm not sure how consistent that is. Um, but yeah, really convenient to get to like the central district. We're saying goodbye Salem. But we will be back. We've both said we are definitely coming back here. Back to the city. First thing Rich needed, colata. Strawberry, mm -hmm. strawberry ice colata. Yeah, mobile ordering is a blessing. Yeah, it went straight on the screen. I've yeah. gone for the vanilla skinny latte. Unsweetened. Unsweetened, really nice. Um, so we're heading back now to our hotel for some air con uh, chill via Chipotle. Chipotle for lunch for me, and you're gonna have. I'm gonna go to the Star Market because I think they do really good sushi there. Well, it looks good anyway. So it's sushi time. So catch you later. Yeah. 